good morning. Um, I'm just in Liverpool and I'm leaving today. I stayed there one night in a hostel and washed my clothes, got a shower, so I can feel much better today. I'm heading to Wales today. I haven't got much time this morning, so I was only able to come here and then I'm gonna go via the Cavern Club on the way back into the city. And then I'm getting the ferry over to Birkenhead and then heading into Wales. And then I'm gonna sleep in a forest tonight that I've seen on the map. This is my first time using the solar panel um, because there was only one plug in the hostel room last night. So I hope that this works because otherwise uh, I have no navigation. <laughs> I've only got a bit left on my second uh, power bank. I think I'm in Wales. I didn't see any sign, but I can start, I can see uh, Welsh written on things. Yeah, so I just keep heading forward, I think, and then, uh, yeah, eventually I'll get to my camp spot. I'm in a strange part of Wales where people are either speaking Welsh or they're speaking English with a kind of like Merseyside Liverpool accent. I expected to get over the border and eventually <laughs> people would sound uh, Welsh, but not yet. Um, I could camp anywhere I wanted around here, there's endless foresty hills. I've just like, hiked up a huge hill <laughs> and I didn't quite know what it was going to, it was just forest after forest. I, I meant to cycle an hour more somewhere down there but I don't think it's going to be as good as waking up to this view so I might hang around here and then um, when all the people have gone go up into some of that woodland and uh, camp up high but just spectacular such a contrast from the last couple of days of cycling I'm up climbing into the forest it's about 20 minutes before sunset, so this is the time that I need to find somewhere to camp. All the land I can see is not at all flat, so hopefully I can find somewhere soon. I don't know if that's picking up on the microphone, but I can hear hundreds of sheep screaming in the distance and it's quite eerie. Just climbed into the forest. Um, I was sitting watching the sunset. There was a guy walking past called Jimmy and we ended up talking because he had uh, the bike that I wanted to get and he was also into bike packing. So he introduced himself and then um, we were talking for a while and he suggested some can spots around here which is really nice. So this is it for tonight. Quite a good day. There's such a contrast between between cycling in England and, and, and here already. In England you have really nice national parks, but everything outside of that, there's no in cycling infrastructure. It's just lots of A roads or broken glass or kind of canals with uh, dodgy drunk people <laughs> everywhere, no matter what, what time of day it is. And already in Wales I can feel a difference. People, people are far more, people are just nicer here. <laughs> So I'm really looking forward to the next week. So I'm gonna wait and then set up camp. Yes. Good morning. I had uh, quite a quite a shaky night. I kept hearing lots of weird noises, but I woke up late. So I think in the end I got about seven, eight hours of sleep, which is very good for me. Um, yeah, same as always. I'm just gonna make some coffee slowly get up and then pack up everything and leave. Yeah, this forest is peaceful. And 
the sun coming in. Really nice way to wake up. Yeah. But I need to dry my sleeping bag and um, charge some batteries with the solar, so I might stay here for a couple of hours before I leave. This is how I'm charging everything. It's the Anchor Powerport Solar. It's not the fastest, but having free energy whenever it's sunny is great. I haven't tried it in overcast conditions yet, but apparently it still works. It's just a bit slower, but um, if I'm in the wild, as long as I've got long-term food, you know, a few boxes of rice and somewhere to wash my balls, <laughs> I can pretty much uh, live out here almost indefinitely. I only need to come back to civilization every week or two to, to get more food, but oh, water, water's, no, water's another thing, water's a big thing. But usually in the mountains, now I'm seeing more and more streams. I haven't tried to um, to clean and, and cook uh, water from nature yet. It's just glorious this morning. Absolutely wonderful. All of the sounds of the birds and everything. And uh, the weather's going to stay like this for the next week, so I'm actually starting to enjoy myself now. <laughs> Yeah, the first few days were a bit bumpy. Um, it's not just the weather, I think it's just getting used to sleeping outside. I finally got a good night's sleep last night. Woke up about half past six instead of half past five. Yeah, and I, my body's kind of slowly adjusting to, to the miles every day and, and the weight of the bike. It's, things are going well, slowly. Yeah, it's less misty than yesterday, but you still can't see Snowden. I've been told that it's in that general direction. So I'm just going to cycle towards there and eventually uh, we'll end up seeing it once we pass these first hills. Hello. I'm almost at the top part of the climbing I need to do for this part of the day. If you look at the elevation map, today I'm going up to about 350 meters, then a slow descent down, and then back up to about the same height for the end of the day for my uh, mountain camp spot. It's really quite hot. <laughs> I'm drinking a lot of water, but I'm getting sweat and sun cream drip down my five head into my eyes. I'm gonna run out of sun cream quite soon because it's all just dripping off me. I'm gonna stop for lunch soon when I think I'm at the top of all the climbing I need to do and then um, yeah I'll drop back down. I can't think of many other days though that have been better cycling than this. It's just idyllic country road one after the other, forest, mountain, really lovely people that all say hello to you. People don't sound Welsh yet but we're getting there slowly. Lots of, lots of climbing, more climbing. I think this is finally Snowden in the distance. I'm gonna drink some water and then <laughs> I've got a big valley to go down and then I'm back up on the other side there, it's Snowden. I think I've found somewhere to camp. 
there's some other wild campers up here um, so I know that I'm not going to get shooed off by a park ranger um, I think today was probably the best cycling I've ever done in my life bloody tiring though but <laughs> so much uphill so much hiking with the bike but I've never I've never seen views like this up close it's just um, yeah, ab absolutely amazing to wake up to. I was thinking about hiking up there with my bike today but looking at the path now from this side I don't think it's possible. I think if I planned ahead I could have come up from the other side because the other side is a far shallower um, incline but yeah I don't think I can climb up there unless I leave my bike somewhere but uh, I don't really want to put everything I need to live <laughs> um, just on a kind of field someone hope no one comes over to need a shit or something. There's a crystal clear lake up there so I'm gonna go and collect some water for some breakfast and I might have a little wash. <laughs> Before I go, I've got a small water filter that I've never used it before and I've forgotten the plunger you need to clean out for the first use so I'm going to use it on this water and hopefully I don't wake up with diarrhea. <laughs> we'll see. Oh no, yeah, no. Fuck drinking that. I stayed last night on a farm. I couldn't find anywhere to camp because it was just farm and there were, there were no forests or anything. And so I, I knocked on someone's door and the, and the first person I knocked on said yes of course and charged my, my power bank for me which is how I can film this. I haven't showered in six days, I think. And my whole body smells like asshole. Nadia's here. Hello. <laughs> With a shiny new bike. Look at our new family member. This is a specialized Sequoia Elite with a carbon fork. And we're rocking the uh, Decathlon panniers and shrimps. <laughs> uh, I cycled down from London today and Nadia bought the bike in Portsmouth. And we've just met in a forest near, roughly near Chichester. Uh, but we're looking for somewhere to camp. Because as you can see, everything's covered in brambles. So we're gonna walk deeper in and then see what we can find and make some dinner. We've just seen maybe the park ranger slash farmer. So we're gonna walk silently away.
<laughs> we're just making dinner and then we're going to set up the tent. We've got mushroom rice that we fried. Oh, there's a small fire still going. <laughs> <laughs> and mushroom soup. And we're eating the rice with some couscous in a wrap. What do you think? Pretty good. Very good, very nice. Yeah, uh, so we're going to drink these, pack up the rest of the stuff, and then we're off to Brighton. Right. And I can uh, maybe try, try my drone today. We've just arrived in Hastings. Um, it's the end of a lot of cycling. Not today specifically, but uh, yeah, we're gonna take a break for a few days and then continue on to Dover. Look at the pretty water. It's kind of a nothingy town. Um, if you don't know me in real life, I lived here for about seven years and most of my friends are here. Really good fish and chips. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're just gonna kind of sleep for three days. Let our butts rest for a minute and uh, recharge. Yeah. And then we're gonna set off again. Yeah. Okay, cool. Peace Bye. out. <laughs> Hello, uh, I'm still in Holland. It's a couple of weeks after the end of this video. After I finished the UK, I, it was about a thousand kilometers in total. I decided that quite a few things on my bike needed replacing um, because the bike really didn't take it well. And so I've been waiting a couple of weeks for parts and just replacing other bits of equipment that weren't really working well. But hopefully I should have my bike this Thursday and then I'll be heading towards Switzerland. Um, I'm far more excited for this part of the trip than I was for the UK. I feel much more confident now in camping and all the other parts that I hadn't really practiced before and I'm just really looking forward to the rest of the world. Here's the map. I'm uh, cycling across Europe and I aim to do this in about six weeks so I should be in Istanbul quite soon. Anyway, thanks for watching and if you want to see more please subscribe and I'll see you in Belgium. <laughs>